All right, guys, we continue the project React and Material UI multi-step form. And in this video, we're going to create the validation for our form. Let me remind you what we're going to do. If one character, there's show up the message. Uh, first name must be more than one character. You can add uh, three, four or as many as you like. I will show you how. So and for the last name, if we gonna type one two it still show up the uh, arrow message because uh, supposed to be more than three okay uh, three four all right and for the email mail and supposed to be the ad and some I don't know name here it's supposed to be the dot and uh, not less than two characters I gonna type IO all right because sometimes can be TV or RU or SU, etc. Okay, you got the idea. And we're gonna create the for the password, of course. So if I'm gonna type some character, minimum six characters and at least one special character. Let me open, uh, show the characters. So uh, QW, let me add six characters and one special character. And to confirm the password, it's supposed to be the same. And special character. And you can see the button not anymore disabled. Okay. And if we click, so it's a uh, move to the select plan. So step number two. That's what we're gonna build in this video. So let's dive in and i'm right now in a branch step one and now i need to git add to add everything and i'm gonna git commit and message gonna be the step one completed okay and now i'm gonna create the new branch with a checkout and dash b which means the branch and the new branch gonna be the validation okay and now we're in the validation branch now we can build so let me start the server npm start and if we're gonna type something nothing happen because we not create the validation all right okay so let's start and I'm gonna close it for now and we're gonna use the for validation guys I'm not gonna uh, spend the time to type this code I just gonna provide you these two uh, files so and uh, and we're gonna use some method from uh, these two files all right so and you're gonna find it in the description those two files I'm gonna zip it and provide you the link okay and uh, I'm going to explain you what we're going to use from those two files. Okay. And all right. So let's continue. And first, what we're going to do, we're going to define the state schema. It's going to be right here. And let me comment. Uh, define state schema. And let's create the variable. And we're going to place the object inside the state uh, schema variable. And there's gonna be the first name and I'm gonna provide the value that's gonna be the empty string and error that's gonna be the empty too okay and let me just um, copy and paste and two more times so here's gonna be the last name uh, Here's gonna be the email. There's gonna be the password. Come firm password. And let's create another object. Else we're gonna name it state uh, validator schema. And here we're gonna place the, all the our uh, objects: first name, last name, email, password, and confirm password. So let's start from the first name we're gonna add required uh, true then validator and we're gonna create the method uh, func and we're gonna use the arrow function i'm gonna pass one parameter value and i'm gonna add the 
rejects and you can find this uh, line uh, in the description below this video next we're gonna add test and value okay so and if gonna be the error because by default it's empty string and we want to print the uh, some message so first uh, name uh, must uh, be more than one character okay and remove semicolon i need to add the comma right here and now in the first name now uh, let me add the value first name and now uh, we need to import the use form file right here and let me add actually i'm gonna do in here so import use form from and the file use form and now we need to destructure some method uh, i'm gonna do right here so right here const and what we're gonna grab let's see in the use form we need to grab the values errors and dirty and you can see uh by default the state schema is empty okay in this method in this function and state validator schema okay so now let's uh, import values errors uh dirty and and one more method it's uh let me find it this method uh handle and change all right so let's do it so values and errors are dirty and handle and change and it's gonna be equal use form and we're gonna pass two parameters so first gonna be the state schema let me grab and gonna add right here and state validator schema copy and paste right here and say if we can adjust to looks better and let's create uh, one more variable i'm gonna destructure the first name then last name then email password and confirm password and equal to the values and in the first name let's add the name gonna be the first name and we're gonna add the me method on uh, how it's called let me see uh, handle and change let me copy and I'm gonna add right here on um, change and gonna add right here save and let's see now guys if it's gonna work uh, we need to add the arrow message right here I'm gonna add right here so I'm gonna use in the curly brackets so errors that uh, first name and dirty uh, first name and I'm gonna render the message right here I'm gonna use them uh, let's add the let me see the typography we imported yes let me copy the typography I'm gonna use the typography right here and in the curly brackets errors that first name and let me add some style right here just here so and style and the margin top i'm gonna add a zero and then color i want the red and the last rule font weight uh, i'm gonna add 200 let me save and let's see right now if no error so one character and we can see uh, the message and if I'm gonna type two 
the message disappeared. If gonna be the empty field can be uh, can be empty. Where this message come from? Let me show you guys. This in a use form. And um, actually, it's in the utils on the top here. Okay, you can change uh, to any you like, but uh, I added for the empty. If the user tried to leave the empty field, so this message gonna be pop up. Okay, so yeah, um, we're done with the first name, and let's do for the last name. And in the state validator schema. I'm just gonna grab this and after comma paste right here and I gonna copy this piece and gonna add right here gonna remove the plus in here and that's gonna be the more than three characters all right save and rename it to the last name and the message uh, oops uh, last name must be more than three characters and let's add the name field right here and the last name and the volume last name save and uh, yeah I forget to add the message so I'm just gonna grab uh, this typography and gonna add right here and it's gonna be the oh, oh wait I need to grab whole block okay like this and control D gonna select the first name and change it to the last name save and let's see and some issue last name let me check in here so last name and the validator schema last name and and uh, okay last name last name and why the arrow let me see let me reload Can grab the value and some uh, let me check guys and of course I forget to add the method event listener on change handle on change that's why issue okay and let me reload again and type one character must be more than three one two three and four and the error disappeared okay and now let's uh, create for the email so right away let me type right here the name uh, email why the name guys because we're in the use form and let me show you guys and um, actually um, yeah right here you we pass the parameter the name okay and we need to add the name right here so and uh, value gonna be the email and right away on change I'm gonna add the uh, handle on change method and let me just copy the last name and after comma I'm gonna place right here and here's gonna be the email and uh, gonna be the different line of rejects you also can find it in our description I'm just gonna change the rejects line so it's supposed to be uh, add and supposed to be dot and after that supposed to be uh, two characters all right and let me change the message gonna add invalid email format i'm uh, gonna save and okay i forget the message uh, grab 
this line and I'm gonna place to the email right here and I'm gonna change control D to the email oops email okay save and let's see in the browser and invalid format and some web dot I O C V okay that's working and if we're gonna leave the empty field can be empty okay and let's work on a password and confirm password the button gonna be the disabled we're gonna change it okay and uh, only after all fields filled okay and the password match then gonna show up the sign up button with the red color and we're gonna do this in a minute let's uh, add for the password and i'm gonna copy this block and paste and let's change the rejects line for the password okay it's supposed to be special character and uh, not less than six characters of the uh, password you can change to four as many you like and the uh, message gonna be the minimum uh, six characters and at least uh, one special uh, character okay we can also add to show what characters like this like add or dollar sign or exclamation mark or the percentage uh, the multiplication a pound just give the idea to the people what they can use for the special characters and a percent okay yeah i think that's good let me save and yes let's change to the password of course and let's go to the password and here's the password and let's add the value uh, password don't forget to add name in the quotes password and uh, unchange event uh, handle unchange let's add the error i'm gonna copy this one uh, what to add let me see okay right here in the form inside the form control and I'm gonna change control D to the password and let's reload just in case uh, one character okay minimum six characters okay the message show up and let's add six characters and one two three four five six and some special character and the message disappear okay and now let's create a password match for confirm password let's uh, go down here and let's add the name and quotes uh, confirm uh, password then value uh, confirm password then on change event and here's where we handle um, change and we're gonna check in here let's do in here and the curly brackets so if confirm uh, password uh, not equal to the password so then it's we're gonna show the message we're gonna render the typography component the, oops, with the camel case typography and right here we're gonna add some text uh, password do not uh, match and uh, of course uh, for the else we're gonna use just null or we can use empty string it's doesn't really matter uh, let me add the null I want to use null 
Okay, and let's style, style, and color it's gonna be red. Okay, mm, I think we're good. Let's check. So let's open password. Six characters and special character and show up the message. Password do not match. Let's add same password and see. All right, and okay, and now let's make a disable uh, if not all the fields filled. Okay, and to do that, we're gonna change right here. So we have a button right here. Let's check conditionally, and I'm gonna check. So if not first name or not last name or uh, not email or if not the password and the last one if not the confirm uh, password or confirm confirm uh, password uh, not equal to the password value then we want to let me add question mark we use the ternary operator and we're gonna render right here disable button let me just copy this and add right here and i'm gonna add different class and just abled btn and right here i'm gonna add the disable disabled yes okay and we're gonna create this class and let's go on the top where our rules and here's btn but i want to add and don't forget to add comma and disabled btn class name and i'm gonna add the background the r GBA gonna be zero 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 which mean the black and I wanna add the opacity zero dot thirty eight and also the width I'm gonna be the hundred percent height I'm gonna add three RAM and don't forget to add the comma right here and uh, now I'm gonna Grab this button and I'm gonna add this for the else. I'm gonna render right here. Now let me save and let's see. Let's change the icon and the icon we're gonna use block sharp icon. So uh, let me copy and paste and instead of send, I'm gonna add the block. And right here, block. And I'm gonna copy the name of the icon and gonna paste right here. Let me save. And let's see. All right, and let's check again if everything works. So if less than one, then show up the message. If empty, field can be empty so let's add the name Sophia and uh, dog and here Sophia and some gmail.com and let's add the password one two three four five six special character and uh, let's check the confirm if passwords match and supposed to be sure of the button okay and uh, yeah we're done with the form guys and the last thing what i want to add i want to add when we hover on a button let's change some some opacity and the functionality when we click we can jump to the select plan to the second step and to do that uh, first uh, let's add some styles uh, right here so and opacity i'm gonna add uh, uh, zero seven and 
and I want to add the transition 0.3 seconds and the effect is in out and we need to pass some parameters right here so let's see in a step uh, on a multi-step form component so we pass to the step one uh, the properties uh, the handle next method and active step and steps okay let's bring them right here in the curly brackets so active uh, step then steps and uh, let me see again handle next let me just copy to avoid the errors typos all right and what i'm gonna do next i just gonna grab this line copy and i'm gonna add instead of the text in the bottom okay here's our button uh, let me add right here instead of next um, sign up and copy and I'm gonna add right here let me save uh, supposed to be work without any issues and yeah I can just remove this button uh, let me see okay I can see the text that's mean let's work let's check again our validation so uh, Joseph and Stoke and Joe uh, gmail.com and let's add the password one two three four five six special character and one two three four five six special character and click on the button and it doesn't work uh let me see guys what's going on handle next i need uh add the event click event in the bottom right here uh after after variant so on click and handle next all right let's check now guys and uh, joseph and Tovk and joe and gmail.com i want to three four five six special character and let's do something in here and the button show up and we click and we're in a step two all right guys so we're done for this video in the next video we're gonna create select plan component See you in the next video.